so there's another request from Dean Springtorp and it's all about the calculation grid he's asking can you change the calculation grid size to say two squares in any zone and I said yes and I gave him this screenshot but for the benefit of other lighting designers I will just uh, create a video for you so you will understand how to do it okay uh, I will just explain this image before I do this um, um, video so um, one you need to go to the calculation objects two to your um, what is this calculation plane and then draw a rectangular uh, number three is to draw a rectangular calculation object and then four create your object and then five go to your measuring grid and then click the distance and then create your two by two distance and that's it you edited your calculation grid so how to do it so again I will just going to use this project because it's already here in my desktop so for example I have lots of calculation grids here because it's a sports complex so for example I will use my tennis court as an example it has now calculation grids here so when you click it you will find out now it's two by two so it's perfect this is the example that uh, Dean wants to see so but if I want to do it all over again for example I want a calculation grid in my parking or playing ground here like this one so what I'm going to do is I'm just go to my calculation tab objects and then go to this calculation tab and then create a rectangular calculation object and then click it and then follow your drawing if you have a drawing or just create as per your desire so just do like this yes it will be invalid and i will label this one okay i think something's wrong okay now i have the properties i will say this is a calculation surface i will say and label it as playing ground and oops ground okay check this is checked positioning yeah it's in uh, 0 0.052 m because i think there's a height of my grasses there so it's okay i will make a rotation in zero because i think my rectangular is not in line in calculation parameters i will say it's horizontal illuminance not a perpendicular offset let's say uh, this is a playground so i will imagine that the kids is 0.5 meters height and then the measuring grid i will make sure that is two by two so i will click the distance instead of the automatic and i will type two and two the moment i did this one you see it's changed into two by two okay again i will say one by one and it becomes denser so let's make it two by two again and yeah that's how it easy it is so if you want to place it in the uh, edge and in the Y you can also do that if not if you want to put it in the center then you can also do that and if you want to change the isoline color let's leave it like that if you don't want to change it and now you have your calculation surface with 2 by 2 grid and if you want to add a valid chart and the false color just click this too and you will have similar like this later once you finish your calculation results all right so that's it it's very easy so if you have more questions just let me know and i will try to create a video for you if i have time all right see you again later good night